Hi everybody, welcome back to the Creepy Basement, aka the Axe Workshop. Today is extremely exciting. I hope you guys are ready for it. Oh man, this guy knows how to keep it exciting. Tell you what, that handle is beautiful. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> Jimmy, man, thank you so much. A cruiser? Are you kidding me? I love it, man. <laughs> there, I have no apps. Look at this, guys. Jimmy42, man. What a guy. Thank you so, so much. This is, this is absolutely amazing. I don't have words for this, man. You have no idea how happy I am about this. Holy shit. <laughs> I can't stop looking at it. Damn, thank you so, so much. Guys, this is absolutely awesome. Chimmy, man, you... I don't know what to say. Thank you so, so much. You really didn't have to do this. I, I feel bad take, taking this, this gift. I, I mean... Holy shit, man. A cruiser. Jimmy, are you kidding me, man? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> I'm geeking out right now. This is crazy, man. I always, I don't have any double bits. I always wanted a cruiser. I thought they were cool. I mean, double bits are cool in general. And I didn't think this was ever going to happen. And guys, it's a it's a true temper uh, flint edge. You guys know how much I talk about my wood slasher. You're probably sick of hearing it. I love Kelly axes. Jimmy, again, man, I don't know what to say, but thank you. This is <laughs> this is insane, man. This is absolutely crazy, dude. Now we're out here in the woods with this beautiful double bit cruiser that uh, Chimmy42 gifted me. Um, not to repeat myself, but Chimmy is the one that won the axe on the giveaway I was doing. And as a thank you, he gifted me this little cruiser. And I could not be more appreciative and, and thankful. I'm I'm still I'm baffled. I, thank you so much, Chimmy. Like this is this is an amazing gift. Um, I put together a nice little sheath for it. No strap or anything. They hold pretty tight. They don't slide off. So uh, now we're going to put this thing to some use. Alongside the cruiser, guys, I can't make this stuff up. I don't know what I did to deserve this, but you guys are just so awesome. And I don't want to make it... Guys, I'm not out here trying to accept gifts and do all this. Um, look what came in the mail. Sorry I didn't do an unboxing because I was expecting something else. And uh, turns out... I got gifted another axe from a subscriber. I could, guys, I can't, I'm so grateful, I'm so honored, I'm so like, I, I have no words, I'm just, you guys are awesome and truly, 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 I'm so appreciative of this and it means so much. Someone sent me a Grands First Brook Scandinavian Forest Axe, okay? He doesn't have a YouTube handle, his name is Mike. Mike, if you're watching, dude, thank you so much you guys you don't know how much this means this is so special this is so meaningful and like I said I don't I don't know what I did I'm just out here having fun and I'm learning and I learned from all you guys and uh, I'm just putting my kind of two cents in there but this is just truly amazing I it doesn't even feel real I got this beautiful cruiser double bit from Chimmy Mike sends me a Scandinavian forest axe he sent it with like a leather collar thing. I left that on the workbench. I was conditioning the leather. Uh, it came with the book. 
It came with a, a another sheath, a, like a spare sheath. Guys, I just I have no I have without words right now. I'm just, I've just completely I never saw this coming. I'm gonna start off with the Chimmy 42 double bit cruiser. Um, I'm gonna do the face cut with this axe, and I'll do the back cut with the Scandinavian forest axe. Man, <laughs> I love this thing already, man. This is, this is sick. Alright guys, now for the Scandinavian forest axe from Mike, thank you again. Wow, this thing is brutal. Uh-oh. All right, guys, we're going to do a little bucking. We're going to start off with the uh, with the cruiser. All right, now let's try the Scandinavian forest axe. Sorry guys, snow's kind of deep. Wow, guys, that Grand Spurs is sharp. That double bit, no slouch either. I just uh, maybe have to grind it down a little bit. I wanted to use it 
both axes how they were given to me. So I might take the uh, the thinner edge because the way Jimmy has this sharpened, he has it sharpened traditionally, where this side is more thin than this side. I measured it. This is about 25 or so degrees, and uh, this side is about 35 maybe. So this will be the split inside and. The, you know, the more abuse side is the felling side. Maybe I'll take this back to about 20 and see see how we go. But that thing is deadly. So is this. Really thin cheeks. It does get stuck a little bit. But man, I, I couldn't be more happy with both of these axes here. And, you know, they both perform well at what they're, what they're meant for and in their own uh, special way. But holy crap, man. I've never used a Grand Spurs. Um, don't take this the wrong way, Mike. I love the ax, but I do see what everyone's talking about, about how thick the handles are. You can see, I don't know if this is a good representation here, but this is an original Kelly handle from back in the day, and this is the Grand Spurs. You can see how thin that is versus the Grand Spurs. You could definitely notice the thickness of the handle, giving you a little handle shock in your hands. I mean, it is pretty cold out, but, um, you know, I'll probably end up thinning this handle down, but honestly, I'm ex maybe it's just the wood, but I'm extremely pleased with how Grand Spurs sends these out. Razor sharp, nice and thin in the cheeks. I almost I'm gonna say I don't have to do anything to it. Like I said, I'll tune the handle, but that's about it. Man, both these axes are chopping extremely well. I'm, I'm very, very pleased. I'm gonna stop jibber jabbering and get back to it. Holy crap. Guys, this double bit is no joke. Big old knot in there.
we're getting to the top portion of the tree here. So, a lot of knots, bear with me. Special thank you to Chimmy for sending me this beautiful Flint Edge Cruiser and to Mike for sending me this absolutely killer Scandinavian Forest Axe by Gransfors Brook. Guys, I know I said it probably a million times in this video, I just don't know how, to, how else to tell you, but I'm so grateful and so thankful. You guys really didn't have to do that. Just know from the bottom of my heart, I, I really, really, really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, I can't wait to get back out in the woods and use these more. Maybe I'll do a review on the Gransfors. I know a lot of guys, you know, scour the internet looking for that. Maybe I could put my two cents in. And also I'll do a review on the Cruiser because uh, from what I understand, there's not too many of them around. There's mostly just full-size double bits. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. And as always, guys, I don't know how to express it anymore. But, man, I really, really appreciate each and every one of you, subscribers, non-subscribers, viewers, commenters, likers, everybody in the Axe community. You guys are absolutely awesome. I really appreciate you guys checking out my content. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just, guys, I'm all blown away. You guys are just absolutely awesome. So thank you so much for your time. And uh, thanks for hanging out with me in the woods here to show you guys these two gorgeous axes and uh, for hanging out and watch me do this one tree one day challenge. All right guys, have a good one. We'll see you on the next one.